Hello. <laughs> Welcome to today. <laughs> How's today been for you so far? <laughs> Nazi furries. Ah, Picking it right back up with that. <laughs> and I will say nothing else other than that. Nazi furries. So as to not incriminate myself. <laughs> as a Nazi furry? As, I, as a Nazi you, furry apologist? You, you, <laughs> no, no Nazi jokes allowed. You're right. You're Except right. That was probably that not Nazi, a good time. Nazi furries exist. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, of course they exist. Everything exists. Yeah. This level is dope. Yeah, this, this level is dope, but I have fucked it up before. This level used to kick my ass when I was young. I okay. You said this is your first game that you played, right? Yep. So, I, did you have Nintendo Power back then? I guess not. Nope. Right? Uh, well, I had Nintendo Power, but not for this era of games. Okay. I remember when, um, when this game came out. The very first thing and what sold me on this game was the tape that came with Nintendo Power. Yeah. About I, this game. I still need to watch that. Um, oh, the fucking VHS? I've yeah, seen yeah. it online. Yeah, That's yeah. so good. I had that. And the, so the first level I really saw was the uh, the factory level. Yeah, Diddy's the cool guy. You walk over to this little thing here, you jump on top of it, and you want to grab that rope, let the rope take you over. Jump right on top of that little stump in the ground, pick up the TNT, walk over to this oil can, blow it up, and fall right into another bonus level. Oh my god, I know a secret. I, I know one of the secrets for when I finally get this game. Yeah, dude. Uh, that they had one of those for Banjo Kazooie as well. Banjo Kazooie yeah. also one of my favorite games of all time. Context. They had a they have a a VHS like a very similar thing. Yeah. For that game and it's awesome. They had one for when the N64 came out that was hilarious too, and they had like secret employees from uh, Sega and Sony trying to like like break into Nintendo and see what's up, and then they leave all depressed. <laughs> they see how good it is. Yeah. That was actually Why? me. Oh my god, I just remembered that. That was so- that's such a good fucking video. But, okay, if you guys are in the market for the greatest video on the internet, Yes. Yeah. You need- Well, you're you watching need, it right yeah. now. Okay, second other- greatest okay, second internet. greatest video on the internet, you guys need to watch the Super Street Fighter 2 VHS. Oh, yeah. What? Oh my god, it is so funny. I can't believe how funny it is. It's like, sometimes while I'm at work and I don't feel like listening to music, I'll put on like a YouTube video and just listen to it because like a, there's a lot of podcasts that only go on YouTube now. Yeah. So like I'll look look it up. Yeah, you, know, you watch some of our listen to some of our videos. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, usually I want to see yeah. specifically. So is, <laughs> am I gonna be able to get this? Oh, there it is. Oh, I didn't even get the K. That was worthless. <laughs> uh, and it was just this. It's the Street Fighter 2 tutorial video, and it's this the, the most 90s fucking preteen kid you've ever seen. <laughs> to watch that like before the stream tomorrow Stefan. Oh my god, it's so We all, we always end up with a little bit of spare time before we go yeah. live and we usually watch we it. watch beyond the mind's eye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the best the best part about that video is when they cuz they go character by character and they talk about a bunch of combos for the characters. Yeah. The combos they're talking about are actually real combos despite all of them being based on jumping into your opponent, which is a problem. <laughs> yeah. But uh but they're actually real combos. But for every character they have like his voice actor do an interpretation of what that character would sound oh, like, oh, and man. they have like, and they have like a script for them, and they say the funniest shit. Especially if you know, if you like understand the character. Like one of the funniest parts is like, what for Giles? It's like, you got to play me all out offensive, or don't play me at all. Play my offense to the max, or don't play me at all. So it's exactly like that. It's not it, like I say it says it's sarcastic. It sounds exactly like that. Uh, At least it sounds better than your next M Bison. <laughs> your next M Bison. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's uh, but it's like play me all out offensive or don't play me at all. So despite the stupid delivery, Guile is also it, without like arguably the most offensive character in Street Fighter <laughs> yeah. Two. So it's just it, as a Guile main, I know. And this is like officially Nintendo licensed, like our Capcom. Like who made it? Yes, that? official Capcom. Nintendo. Oh, was it Capcom video? Was it yeah. Capcom? Okay, I thought it was Capcom. You think they would know if they made their own? Like, oh, what? No, I like they didn't understand what they were designing at the time. Yeah, fighting games were too new. Because yeah. like even comboing was uh, accidental in yeah. Street Fighter Two. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff that was accidental. There, one of the funniest things about that game is one of the uh, there's a move. I don't know how well 
people might understand fighting games to find this as funny as I do. But there's a move that Zangief has. It's his standing light kick. Oh, I'm not gonna get to the two times in time. I mess. I miss a jump. Yeah. Uh, try, try and get 400. Try and get 400. There it is. Good job, uh, Nazi furry. Thanks. I worked really hard on it. Good job. Good garbage, garbage can. Garbage can. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> <laughs> what, was I, what was I talking about? Uh, combo. Oh, Zangief's okay. light kick. Yeah. Zangief's light kick. Zangief's, uh, so Zangief's. Usually, when a, when a move comes out, it has a few frames where it hits and a few frames where it's recovering. Yeah. So, like, it, it, you know, it comes out, it hits, and then there's a bit of recovery time in the animation before you can do anything again. But, uh, Zangief's light kick is literally all active frames. So anytime the leg is out, it hits just as hard as always. So he could be pulling his leg back into himself after kicking, and it hits just as hard as when he's putting it out. <laughs> if you know what that it's means. It's so funny when you hit people with it. If you know what it means, it's really funny. If you see it happen, it's really hilarious. Huh. You know what's hilarious? Game and Watch. Game and Watch is hilarious. <laughs> That's not, like... Not a Street Fighter, though. No. That's been like my back way to get fighter. joy back into playing melee for me is playing game and watch. I've because for a while there, being like a shitty Marth main is really sad. Yeah. Because not only do you suck, everyone hates you. Fuck. So I started playing game and watch, and I've been enjoying that so much. Look at the hitboxes in this game. Yeah. Aren't they classic? Okay, what's your opinion on Donkey Kong Returns? I like it. I've had... There's just something about it that hasn't grabbed me. Like, I played Donkey Kong Returns, and I played Tropical Freeze, because I hear that one's even better. It is but even better. For whatever reason, I love the music, but there's just something that doesn't feel right, and I can't figure out what it is. I, I know exactly what you're talking about, because I feel it. As someone who's a huge Donkey Kong Country fan, the, yeah. the original of the original trilogy. Yeah. Like, I totally, totally understand exactly what you mean. I still like it, though. Yeah. I like I like the first one. The first one actually has some nostalgia for me. Yeah. Which is weird, because it came out recently, but actually has a lot of nostalgia for me, because my family and I all love that game. Yeah. So we play, I play that game with my sisters a lot, and what one of our traditions for a few years was to bring the Wii up, because we liked to all, like, we used to like all the... Uh, sleep in my older sister's room yeah before like on christmas eve so we would bring the wii up and we'd play Don donkey Kong country returns really late on christmas eve so it, and not christmas is like by far my favorite holiday i'm a nostalgia junkie, yeah well, so. most people do yeah i have so much nostalgia for christmas what's, so like uh, what's yeah. your favorite game you ever got for christmas favorite game i ever got for christmas yeah hmm so uh, mine, I, I'm going to quickly jump in on yeah, this. Yeah, go for it. Mine was Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Nice. Because, like, my, my mom was like, I'm not getting, you can ask for any other game. Yeah. That game is too violent, I'm not getting it for you. So I asked for Dawn of War instead. <laughs> so I just, like, ratcheted the violence up to 10. Nice. Like, well, in comparison, this game is not nearly as violent, so... Uh, sorry, his favorite... Uh, my favorite, the favorite game, my favorite game I ever received for Christmas is Guitar Hero 3. Ooh, Ooh nice. Yeah. For me, Chrono Trigger. <laughs> Chrono Trigger! Yeah. I, I played that, like, after Christmas, I played up in, I don't know how familiar you are with the game, but... Enough. I played, um, on Christmas, up to the point where you get, um... Leave the future, go to... Yeah, ap everything after the future on Christmas Day. So, that's like almost halfway through the game, right? That That's including grinding um, silver points to buy the load sword before I left the Millennial Fair because that's what I was into. Jesus. Like, okay, so you played that game. That, that was a long time. Yeah. That's yeah. A, Especially for your first time playing through Blind, yeah, that would be a well, long I, time. Well, I rented it before. Okay, oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. I think, I think one of my, my great, like, Christmas gaming memories was, like, and for some reason this is, like, vividly stuck with me and I yeah. don't know why, was playing Ocarina of Time on Christmas Day yeah, with man. my brother, but specifically uh, the first time that you go to Death Mountain and you make, like, the Dodoro dance. Yeah. The, the, specifically that moment, and even yeah. now when I play it, I can picture myself in my head, like, on the living room floor, snow coming down yeah. outside, like, in my head, like, vividly. Big. We should play that for Christmas, actually. Yeah, I'd be down Because, like, whenever I hear that... Da, 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 I just, I think of Christmas. Yeah. Like, as soon as you go into, uh... 
what's the Kokiri Village? Yeah. Like, all that music just reminds me of Christmas. Just to age myself a bit here. Yeah. I think of that when I watch when I play Wind Waker. Oh yeah. Because when I got a GameCube for Christmas, the first game I got for it was Wind Waker. That's a good first game for it. I really like Wind Waker. A lot of people complain about Wind Waker. I well, really a lot of people like from our generation complained about it at the time because they yeah. wanted Ocarina of Time three. That's true. As a a minor disclaimer, I'm not particularly into Zelda. Yeah, that's fair. Me neither. But I have certain I, I have certain. <laughs> I know it's weird. It's I've weird. Ser- I have certain fond I mean. memories for it, but like I even now, like I would never. Zelda games for me is what I played between Final Fantasies. Yeah. Like I play the I see I watch Stefan play the games for the channel, but like I never pick up Zelda games. In my time. But I hate this. This is like the worst fight. This is actually one boss that uh like when I was younger I used to oh what? That was hitbox was stupid. When we were younger, we used to babysit some uh, some kids from down the street. Yeah. And so before, like it was like before school, and we would all play. Uh, we'd all just play random video games that I owned. Yeah. So those are some really fond young memories of playing video games. And this was one of the bosses that like. So my file. Oh my god, that was Mr. Roll. I missed the roll. That was bullshit. Uh, this is the my game. My cartridge was stuck on this boss for the longest time because nobody could beat the first level of the ice world. Oh, yeah. So whenever... Okay, yeah, fuck Donkey Kong anyway. Donkey Kong is way harder to do this fight on. Because he's bigger? Because he holds, he holds the, the barrel of bottom up. instead of fro... Uh, uh, oh, I see, yeah. My whole, stra- my whole strategy revolved around Diddy. Uh, and this is this is one of the boss that none of them... None of them could beat this boss. So they always had to get me to come beat the boss so they could try the first level of the ice world. Yeah. So I, it was like it was like I had purpose. This game reminds me of fourth grade so what? much. What? Bullshit. This is I was in like senior kindergarten. <laughs> I'm really aging myself I was in senior kindergarten when that was happening. This yeah. was like this game was a big deal when it came out. Yeah, like yeah. everyone oh, yeah. owned it. I knew so many people that bought Super Nintendos for this game because they had that package deal. So all of a sudden, like, all the people that I talk about gaming with who would have, like, either a Nintendo or a Genesis all got Super Nintendos. So, like, that year it was all Super Nintendo games. Oh, yeah. And this was a big deal. So all we talk about during recess and stuff was, like, Donkey Kong Country secrets. And we, like, I remember going over to people's houses, like, beating levels for them and shit. It was like that with my friends in Shadows of the Empire. I was oh, like the yeah. only I was like the only guy in my group of friends who could beat that canyon level. IG88. Yeah. yeah. It was oh, like no, that. That's the Boba Fett level. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The one where you get the jetpack. Yeah. And like once once you get through the first stage of him, it's really easy cuz you can just stand still and the uh the the slave Fuck. What am I doing? Slave 1. Slave 1's lasers just land on the other side of your feet. If yeah. You don't move. But it's getting through that first stage of fighting him that was so tough. Yeah. I just yeah. seeker missed miss yeah. the hell out of him. Yeah. For me, that one the, the one game that everybody's talking about on the schoolyard, yeah. for me was RuneScape. Oh, really? yeah. Two, that, that was 2005. I've never played RuneScape. Yeah, me neither. Sorry. Thanks to the left. Oh, you're very good. Yeah. Great grade four was when RuneScape was like hot. Like everybody I knew was playing it. And it, that was actually when I started playing RuneScape was when I started to swear. It was weirdly like exactly the same time frame. The first Cut. insult that ever came out was garbage can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I didn't understand the meta of garbage can at that point in time. Uh, I remember when like the Pokemon Game Boy game first came out. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. F- sorry. Pokemon yeah. Ruby was another one. Oh, Pokemon yeah. Ruby was uh, first grade for me. Red, red and okay. blue was red, like... When red and blue came out, I had no idea that that people watch a show. I thought this was just something that I'd found on, like... Because we used to have these American channels, like the WB and stuff. Right, yeah. So, um, I thought I was the only one watching this, because this was on, like, on these premium channels at, like, 8 in the morning. But all of a sudden, everyone's fucking playing this game. I'm looking around, people are playing Pokemon cards. Everyone's got their Game Boy at school. I'm like, man, fucking 
<laughs> Two months ago, if I brought my Game Boy to school and get my ass kicked in yeah. the school. Oh, dude, that. it was so the opposite for me. Stuff. Bringing your Game Boy to school, you were the hot shit. Oh, man, yeah. Because your parents would let you bring a Game Boy to school. We, yeah. never, we never owned a Game Boy um, uh, because my parents didn't want us to have games that we could take in the Fuck, car. what? Are, I did it again. What am I doing? I don't know why you're doing that. I don't know why I did it. I'm like, so, you must have a speed strat. So my brother finally, like, ninja the Game Boy in because he bought one in Germany when he was there with Dad. He's like, well, I can't, I can't take it back. I bought it in Germany. Like, and, and since then, since then we've had Game Boys. Uh, yeah, I remember the Pokemon craze going off yeah. the charts. Like, people getting their cards stolen. And, like, I also remember Pog. Yeah, I, I Pog. remember Pogs. Yeah. You don't. <laughs> I don't remember Pogs. I know what they are. Yeah, now you've got someone else to call a fucking millennium, huh? <laughs> no. no, I'm Gen X, dude. Gen Z, sorry, I'm Gen Z. Oh. It. You're still a millennial, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> fucking garbage can. Garbage can. <laughs> Yo, you didn't throw it against the wall and then. I know I'm an idiot. <laughs> so much for speed running. Oh man, I don't speed run this level. I'm so bad at this level. Speed run, getting your ass kicked. This level. Is this the one that like white whites out? Uh, no, the one that whites out is after. Oh yeah, I hate this world. You have to go so far before you get dizzy. Yeah. This, yeah. So like this is the level that my cartridge got stuck at yeah. for actually probably like almost a decade. Jesus. What's it's, after this? After this is the uh, the crystal caves. No, no, I mean like this world. Oh, it's the uh, factory. Oh, cool. Uh, we're making great time. Crystal Caves is a is a fantastic arcade game. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, 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 fucking A, motherfuckers. <laughs> they actually deliberately give you a lot of chances to get extra lives in this level. I think they just knew they made a really fucking hard level yeah. by accident. Oh, for sure. And this is also before I knew that this level has, like, a, something where you can skip the entire level. I thought you had to actually go through the entire barrel thing when I was little. Oh, the... I love the little barrel tests. I hate those. That's like what. Oh I, my god! I did it again. I this really never actually never happens to me. This is. I swear, baby. <laughs> this this was one of the levels that I was worried about. By the way. Yeah, it's fine. There were three levels got in this like game. Like a thousand lives. I do have a thousand lives. This is one of like so when I was talking to these guys about like. Uh, did it again. I did it again. When I was talking to these guys about like <laughs> playing this game on stream on on stream. On recording. On recording. Yeah. I said, I, I would say that, like, I could beat it in an hour and a half, but there's a few levels that I'm worried about that sometimes give me inordinate amounts of trouble, and this is one of them. Yeah, this is the one that whites out. Oh, oh yeah, it does. It whites out at the end, and then the next one starts whited out. Yeah. Well, look, if this either increases or decreases your stress, you're currently at 38 minutes. Okay. Yeah, you, okay. you're making good time. Yeah. Fuck, I messed it up. You finished first and got seven points. Great race! Nice on. Oh, fucking Mario Golf. I played so much Mario Golf. I have played literally ten minutes of Mario Golf. <laughs> yeah? I thought you were gonna say, like, ten years. Yeah. Like, I played Mario Golf 64, like, the first one. I guess that's the first one. I've never played Mario Golf 64. And I haven't played one since, but I played a lot of that first one. <laughs> okay. Well done. We got it. We're both done. If you guys ever play Mario Tennis 64, oh, oh that game's sick. You, yeah. you are literally by, required by law to have me on. Okay. This is on record. You have okay. to have me on for that. All right, we will do that because I would like to do Mario Tennis at some point. I really do like Mario Tennis. Okay, you know what? We should I do that for like a party stream. I'm gonna back the fuck up and rail on golf for a minute, specifically I'm golf announcers. Why do they always talk so quietly? Like, okay, I can understand not wanting to, like, distract the air quotes earthly here, but, like, they're in the fucking clubhouse. Watching on cameras. Yeah. Why are they so worried? I think it's more, like, to give the atmosphere, because, like, they already put all this effort into putting, like, fake fucking bird sounds. Yeah, yeah. it's true. Oh, I forgot about the fake bird sounds. Like, they put a lot That's of effort like into making... That's, like, my favorite part of golf, actually. It's just, like... Listening to it, listening to like the the fake sounds, and then falling asleep. Honestly, golf golf was the real first ASMR. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say golf's my AMSR. ASMR. I think uh, one of the best experiences I ever had at go with with golf um, was I was at the boathouse, and they had uh, Will Gallagher was there doing like a metal DJ set. 
but golf was playing on the TV. <laughs> so in my brain, it was just like golfing to Slayer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was great. I was digging the crap out of that. I was like, this is how I can enjoy golf. <laughs> yeah. Walk! So uh, holes! Before that, you see That feeling the when you're golfing you to walk by Slayer? <laughs> like a putt. You What's know? that? That feeling when you're golfing to walk yeah. by Slayer, <laughs> yeah. Are you putting at me? <laughs> <laughs> like putting to Angel of Death, like. Yeah, so that's that's War my ensemble. Oh god. Ooh. Yeah, this part can suck a dick. Choosing your golf club to I don't think I even have the K-O and N. The wood! <laughs> the iron! Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I used to- I used to go down to the driving range, because my parents really liked golf for a while, and, like, I was terrible. I think the furthest I ever drove a golf ball was, like, an inch. That's when yeah. it rolled off the, uh, the tee. I mostly go to the, uh, driving range, because I- I do suck, but I just like hitting the ball, or trying to. Yeah. So I just... There's no camera. <laughs> what was Despite that? Despite the fact that there's a camera in my face, there's no camera. <laughs> I was making a face. For context, I was making a face. It was incredibly rude. But we'll talk more about Nazi furries next yeah. episode. Yeah. Remember when we said we were going to do this and now we're doing this? Well, yeah, we don't... What about, typically, we don't call right. people Nazis, but I call Chris a Hitler apologist a lot. For the record, I am not a Nazi or a Hitler apologist. <laughs> he just... Endorses blood sports. Oh, absolutely. I love blood sports. I do. I am a large fan of combat sports Despite all like being hipster and being like oh this fight was bullshit everybody was oh, the world the world tour trash talking I love the McGregor Mayweather fight. Person. That was uh, that was entertaining. It was very entertaining. I, I did not think it would last as long as it did. Yeah, I am immediately date this episode. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's a, very it's, much it's August 28th at 1034 at night. <laughs> it's 1034 Jesus Christ. I have work yeah. in the morning. Well, hurry up and beat the game. I beat the game a lot faster than this. Uh, I, I think the thing that drives me nuts is like, I, I'm not I'm not a big UFC guy. Stefan's always said I would like the like original UFC when it was like a ladder tournament and everything was allowed. Oh yeah, I, I would I I would like, like to. We used but, to we used to pay per view that shit back in the day. But like, I think for me it's like I get so sick of the trash talking. It's just like it's, it's yeah, really it's really dumb lame to me. It's Yo, really let's lame. roll the clip where he was asking me to trash talk everyone. Yeah right. Actually, that was off camera. Yeah. Ah. Except for the bit where you told me to trash dog Street Fighter players, and then we went off on- I was just hopped off on Smash 4 for a while. I was just curious what your thoughts were, that's all. I didn't ask you to trash talk. No, I'm- I'm- you specifically said trash talk. Check the tapes. <laughs> I'm half surprised that Nilo was talking about Smash players, but I'm even more surprised that Nilo said something mean. No, no, no. No, he didn't say anything mean. He didn't say anything mean. He was just like... They're, they're not- I, I don't remember his exact words, but he wasn't- he, Nilo's a cool guy, Nilo's a nice probably guy. said kids party Fucking game. seriously. Yeah, yeah, I think that's exactly yeah. where the words. That's- that's the meme. Yeah. But, uh, no, no, is Nilo, Nilo is a wonderful human being. Uh, I just wish he would go back to drumming for metal bands. Because... I need you as a drummer, Nilo. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't seen that guy in so long. 